So one of the final keys in underwater navigation is go out there and navigate, guys. If you don't utilize what you practice, say, in the pool work or what you practice on land, you're never going to be good at underwater navigation. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and we are on part three of our series of underwater navigation. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take everything that we learned in part one, how does the compass work? Everything that we did in part two, the practice and going from a reference point to another reference point and we're actually gonna make an underwater navigation dive. Now I've gotta do some work for some neighbors of ours over here at their dock and so I'm gonna pick a spot over there and I'm gonna actually use my compass to get across versus just swimming on top of the water. Now, if you look here behind me, you'll see there's a blue barrel over there. I'm actually, or a blue float of some type. I'm actually gonna use that as my reference point to swim through. Now, in this particular area, obviously I could use natural navigation. This particular cove kind of looks like this, so I could go down an incline and come back up an incline. But to make the shortest distance possible, I'm gonna pick a depth about 10 to 15 feet. I'm gonna get my navigational heading and I'm gonna simply use my compass to get across. What we're gonna do is see just how good I am using the compass and see how close to my target I can actually get. So I'm gonna get geared up, we'll jump in, and I'll show you how all the skills that we taught you in part one and part two actually come together.
All right, guys, so as you can see, I was very successful in hitting my target. That little blue thing over there was a kid's swimming pool. I hit it spot on. I was able to get my reciprocal and come right back to the dock as well. But guys, all it takes is a little bit of practice. Get out there and practice with your compass. Practice on land like we showed you in part two. Practice in the water like we showed you in part two. Practice using your compass like we showed you in part one. Play with that bezel, get it lined up. Practice in different positions based off what type of compass you have so that you can always hold it level. Like I said, a little bit of practice goes a long ways. Not only are you gonna get good at it, you're gonna build your confidence in underwater navigation. And that's the final key that I'll give you to underwater navigation is have confidence in yourself. If you don't have compass, practice, you'll build it. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this series on underwater navigation. If you did, drop me a like, drop me a uh, comment down below. If you wanna see more specific navigation techniques, Drop me a comment down below of exactly what it is that you're wanting or what you need help on, and I'll be happy to make a video for you. I've got some more mapping that we're doing on our training area, and I'll try to do some underwater navigation videos for you there. But if you want to see stuff like that, drop me a comment. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll do my best to produce a video for you. But guys, once again, I really appreciate you watching this series and our videos in general. If you got any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.